Hello everyone! Welcome back to the Easy channel. One of the marketplaces that can be integrated to Odoo through Easy's Marketplace module is Tokopedia. We'll show you how to configure and authenticate your Tokopedia account in this video. Before we connect, we have to set up a developer account in Tokopedia. So right now, I'm in the Tokopedia developer website already logged in with my developer account. For every developer account you make, you have to make the console as well. We're going to click on Dev Console and choose the console that you have already created beforehand. Now I'm going to click on Shop Management on the left side. Click on Add Shop and add your shop's domain. Wait for it to load, then click on Apply. Here my shop type is a power merchant, and you also have a status that says Waiting Approval from Seller, which is the approval of your shop. I'm going to go to a different window with my Tokopedia seller shop already logged in. Make sure to click on Pengaturan Aplikasi Pihak Ketiga or Application Settings from a Third Party on the left side of the screen. Click Accept or Trima. A pop-up will appear saying if you want to accept the console's request, which you'll click Yes, Accept. Here's a list of all the type of access you can make to be available by this console. You can check and uncheck the settings you want right now or later. Then click on Apply. You can now see that this application is active. Now I'm going to go back to Odoo's Marketplace module and click Create. Write the name of your shop, then choose your marketplace, which is Tokopedia here. Now we need to input the credentials to connect to the marketplace. I'm going back to the Developer Console tab, and then I'm going to click Authentication Management. I will copy and paste all the credentials needed such as Tokopedia Client ID, which is the client ID in the console, Tokopedia Client Secret, and Fulfillment Service ID, which is the app ID here. And then the shop's URL. Once done, click Save and then Authenticate. After authenticating, you'll need to register a public key to Tokopedia in order to register the customer data. If you don't register a public key, your customer's data will be censored whenever you get a sales order. When this public key appears, it means that you have successfully registered. I can also edit and make changes by clicking on Edit. Then I'm going to go to the Order tab. You can edit whatever you want here and it will automatically be set up in the sales order. Here I'm going to set my default warehouse, default sales person, and leave the payment terms blank, then default price list. You also have the option to auto-create the invoice, so if your sales order is confirmed, it will automatically create an invoice, and you won't need to manually create one. If you activate this, the delivery invoicing policy of the product in the order lines will be based on ordered quantities, not on delivered quantities. If you activate the auto-confirm sales order, the sales order will be automatically confirmed. For Tokopedia, you will have to accept the order from the customer first in Odoo, and then the sales order will be confirmed automatically. You can keep the order date when confirming the sales order, and choose an AWB action type. You can also get cancelled orders, if you want to get orders that are cancelled from the marketplace and which has not been pulled to Odoo yet. Finally, click Save. And that is all for this video on how to configure and authenticate your Tokopedia account. Thank you for watching and have a great day!